the last minute you realized that football was Spencer's thing and you didn't want to butt in. But Spencer didn't know that. He just felt betrayed because you left him hanging. I didn't think the friendship would survive. And I apologized and bought him ice cream with his allowance. See? What's up, all American fans? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another video if you're new. Now, this is going to be the review and recap for All American Season 3, Episode 6. If you're a fan of All American, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on All American, you get them. Now, the title to this episode is Teenage Love and I love this episode. I'm gonna say that this is my favorite episode of the season so far. You know, this is the sixth episode and this is my favorite one out of the six. I'm gonna rate this one a nine out of 10. I loved everything about it. It definitely wasn't boring. It kept you engaged the entire time and I loved the story in this episode. I just completely loved it. I thought it was a great episode. It keeps you hooked and I think the plot lines were amazing. I can't wait to see what else this season has in store for us. Now when the episode first starts, we see Spencer, he needs some time alone to himself. We see what happened in the last episode, he stressed about a lot of things, and he stressed about him and Coop, because he was honest with Coop. But it just shows Spencer, he pulls up to the cabin, and then we see Coop, she goes to Spencer's house and Grace answers the door, and Grace tells Coop that Spencer went up to the cabin to spend time alone and everything and Coop is wondering if it's because of her why Spencer left. Then we see Spencer and he's looking around and he's thinking of old memories about his dad. His dad died in that cabin in the chair that's inside there so it's really hard for Spencer. Then we see Layla and Olivia and they're at Olivia's house and they're vibing you know just chilling and they're talking. Then they get into a conversation about Spencer about how he went up to the cabin by himself just because he needed time and Olivia says are you sure that's such a good idea being that his dad died up there and he's up there alone she says I don't know if he should be up there by himself now this episode is called teenage love and there most certainly is a lot of teenage love in this episode but there's also a lot of teenage heartbreak and I'm gonna get into all that but you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about now next we see Coop, she goes inside the house and she's talking to Grace about Spencer and she says, Spencer really blames me for the shooting and she asks Grace if she agrees with Spencer, like if Coop is really the reason why Spencer got shot and Grace says that she never would blame Coop. She said she doesn't think it's her fault but that's just Spencer's opinion and she needs to give him time. Grace says that they are the bestest of friends ever since they were little and Grace goes on about some story between Coop and Spencer about how Coop wanted to play football or something but then she backed out because she knew that that was Spencer's dream but Spencer was mad because he thought Coop betrayed him or whatever and then she made up with him she bought him ice cream with his allowance money and stuff and they made up so it's the same situation right here Grace is telling Coop that she knows they're gonna make up that Spencer just needs some time. Now we see Spencer, he's just sitting there and he's looking real hurt, man. He's looking upset. He just keeps on thinking about stuff that happened with his dad. He uses the key to unlock the door to the cabin and he starts going in, but then he sees his dad just laying there, you know, in that chair. He remembers when he found him like that. He was hoping that it wasn't true. He tried to wake his dad up and it was too late. Then we see Spencer getting ready to leave. You know, he's getting ready to get in the car and dip on out. But we see two cars pull up and it's Jordan, Simone, Olivia, Asher, Layla. We see all of them pull up. Oh, even JJ and Vanessa are there too. So everybody wanted to come up and show Spencer a good time. They didn't want him to be up there by himself. Of course, Spencer is shocked and he's surprised. He didn't expect to see anybody come up there. Now we see old silly ass Billy and he comes to the door. Laura answers the door and he has a little handyman belt on his hip. 
and he says that he's coming over to fix the garbage disposal. And Laura says, look, you don't even got to do that. We got a handyman coming over and Billy's just trying to do what he has to do to get his woman back. And I feel him, man. You know, he's trying to be nice and he's trying to do everything that he can to make Laura realize that he's the man she needs. Now, next we see the gang and they're going through all types of stuff like boxes full of memory items, boxes full of garbage items and everything. They're sorting everything out and they get the stuff mixed up and Spencer's like, come on, man, do we really got to start over? Like, come on, you know what looks like a memory and you know what looks like trash. He says, come on, I'll just do it by myself and they won't let him. And then Asher finds a box that he thinks might be garbage. He gives it to Spencer and then Spencer looks at it with a weird ass look. So I know it's something that really caught him off guard, probably from his dad. Then we see Simone, Olivia and Layla and they're walking in the woods. And I think this was a great moment right here because we never get to see these three together in a scene. So I think this was really great. The three of them were bonding. And it was funny because, you know, Olivia was like, oh, you're trying to talk with your Oprah advice and stuff like that. You know, they were just vibing. Next, we see Jordan, JJ and Asher and they're taking out the trash, all the stuff that was garbage. And then JJ says that he really wants to turn the party up. So he has some stuff that he brought with him and it's a case full of Nerf guns. And he said that, you know, these guns were like illegal in 42 states or whatever. I don't know if he was serious or he was joking, but these were some fire ass guns. So they were getting ready to play with these water guns. My bad, I said Nerf guns, I meant water guns. But yeah, they were getting ready to vibe with these boys. So next we see everybody grabbing them guns and they're just squirting each other. They're running, laughing, having fun. And I honestly wanna do something like this. I just wanna go with a group of friends and get away and have some fun like this. They're really vibing and I need that in my life. But unfortunately with COVID, it's so hard to do that right now. Then we see Layla and she's looking for Spencer. She goes inside and he's sitting there and he says that he found this box of letters. He said that they're to him and Dylan for their birthdays throughout all these years from his dad and he's scared to read them. Layla says that he doesn't have to make this decision right now. He can decide later, but right now they need to have fun. Next, we see Coop and Patience and Patience is studying or whatever. Coop's on the bed. She's reading a book and Coop keeps going on about Spencer saying how she can't believe Spencer just up and left, how she can't believe that he blames her for the shooting and stuff. And Patience says, come on, man, is that all you're going to talk about? And Patience's phone keeps ringing and she says it's some girl named Little Jewel. I think she said Little Jewel, Little Drew or something like that. And Coop says, man, why does your phone keep ringing? And Patience tells her who it is and she says it's not that big of a deal. She's just blowing me up. So then Patience tells Coop that if she's really that worried about the friendship between her and Spencer, that she should just go up to the cabin to talk to Spencer herself because they know that Spencer's up there alone. So she tells Coop to go up there and try to work it out between them. Little does Coop know Spencer's not up there alone. Next, we see Jordan go up to Simone and she's typing something on her computer and it's a letter to Princeton or something like that. That's where she wants to go. And at this moment, it's when Jordan finds out that he doesn't really know as much about Simone as he thought. He finds out that she's into tennis and she wants to play tennis. He didn't know she was interested in Princeton and he didn't know that she was interested in that specific sport. So he was shocked to hear this, but then he also heard her out on why she likes the sport and why she wants to play it. Next, we see Spencer. He's walking and he's reading one of those letters and you can hear Corey's voice. And Corey's just basically really angry in this letter for what happened between him and Grace in the past. Then we see Billy, he's trying to fix the garbage disposal and Laura's there helping him and he's failing miserably. But it's all right though, because in this moment, the two of them were bonding, they were vibing. So I guess it's okay that he actually wasn't fixing it because it brought the two of them closer together. Next, we see everybody in the kitchen and JJ says how he's making his famous Alfredo or something like that. And Jordan says, look, I thought we was having burgers and dogs. And Vanessa says she much rather would have had burgers and dogs. 
So Asher says, look, I'm right on it. So Asher goes outside with the stuff and Vanessa follows him. And she tells Asher that the person that she met back in Mexico is a completely different person than what she's seeing right now. She said, you know, he was full of hope. He was determined and all kinds of stuff. And she says, do the guys inside even know that Asher? And she says, I think you should introduce him to them. Next, we see Spencer sitting by the water and he's looking at the box of letters. And here comes Olivia. And she basically just gives him some really good advice. Spencer is saying that he doesn't think he can read the letters because his dad was so angry back then at his mom. And Olivia says, she keeps it real. She says, look, that's who your dad was back then. Don't you want to know why he was so mad? Don't you want to know why he was the person he was? Don't you want to know that part of him? You have to know that part of him to get past everything. She was just keeping it real with Spencer. She was giving him some real advice and I really like how the two of them be vibing. But the whole time they're sitting there talking, we see Layla, she's staring out at him. And then we see Asher come out onto the porch where Layla's at. And Asher says how it looks like the two of them are so close. When Olivia gets up, when she's done giving advice to Spencer, Layla's just looking. Now next we see Patience come to meet little Jewel and she says she wants to apologize. She says that she didn't know that the song that JP had her write and perform or whatever she didn't know it was Patience's and Patience is still mad you know she's not accepting her apology but then little Jewel is like look I'm sorry it's in the past can you come on tour with me so I think Patience will probably end up going on tour with her I'm not sure but it did seem like little Jewel really didn't know anything about it so we're gonna see how this all plays out now next we see Spencer reading a letter and this letter is about how Corey met a woman and she had a son and he's such a good kid and stuff and he's talking about Darnell. So the whole time Spencer's reading this letter, you know, he has a smile on his face because he knows exactly who Darnell is and he's really getting to know how Corey was back then. Now next we see Olivia trying to talk to Asher and Asher just gets mad. He's like, man, don't you have something else to do later? We ain't gonna be able to spend no quality time because you sure you're not gonna have to come to Spencer's rescue? You sure he's not gonna get a splinter and you're gonna have to go help him? Asher wants to know why is it that Olivia always has to come to Spencer's rescue? Now next we see the gang and they're talking about they're getting ready to turn up. This is gonna be the real turn up right here. So next we see them playing some card game where they gotta guess like some actors or whatever you basically got to say some clues and you got to guess what the person is trying to say and the answers on the card or whatever. I don't know, but they were playing this game. They were in front of a fire and it was getting crazy, man. It was getting crazy. Then they went to Never Have I Ever. And this is when it really got crazy because some secrets came out. First of all, Olivia did not like how Vanessa was acting towards Asher during this game. Vanessa kept on saying stuff that even Olivia didn't know about Asher. Like at one point, um, Vanessa says something about you had a picture on your wall of him when you were 10 years old and Asher said Samuel Jackson. So it's like Vanessa knew a lot of things about Asher that even Olivia didn't know. And then Olivia says, never have I ever went to Mexico to spend time with somebody else's boyfriend. And things get heated and they're like, come on, man, can't we just play the game? And Asher's like, okay, Jordan, never have I ever cheated um, to get back onto the football team. And so Simone gets mad at Jordan because he's risking his life to be back on the football team. Oh, and then Simone said something about never have I ever done something in Vegas. And she was talking to Olivia. So that made Layla think. That really made Layla think twice about what Olivia really was up to over the summer with Spencer. I mean, this whole part of the episode right here just got crazy. Everybody was just going crazy at each other. It was funny though, because, you know, Vanessa brought in some bottles they were gonna drink and Olivia said she can't obviously because she's in sobriety. And Vanessa's like, I'm sorry, I forgot you were sober. And JJ pulls out a thing of like pickle juice and that's what they were using to play the game. Then we see Jordan and Simone arguing back and forth. And this basically ends in them telling each other that they don't know each other as much as they thought they did. 
And Simone says maybe they don't need to be together after all. Then we see Asher and Layla walks in and she exposes everything. She tells Asher about how Olivia flew to Mexico to surprise him and she saw Asher with Vanessa. So I'm telling you, man, things just got crazy after this. So JJ's like, yo, you and Asher? What? Like he's surprised to hear that Vanessa was in Mexico with Asher. Then we see Coop walk in and she's like, yo, so much for you being here. So sad and alone. And then we see Laura and Billy and he finally fixes the garbage disposal and these two bond once again. And he says, have fun on your date because he sees a dress laying out. And she says, look, for your information, I'm not going on a date. I was supposed to be going out with some girlfriends, but I canceled to help you with this. And Billy's like, oh, OK. So she said, for your information, I'm not seeing anybody at all. I'm not going on dates with anybody. And Billy says, you deserve to be happy. Laura's like, you deserve to be happy, too. So I guarantee these two are going to get back together in the future. And I kind of can't wait for it because I'm tired of the drama between the two. Then we see Spencer and Coop arguing back and forth and Coop is letting Spencer hear how she feels. She's saying that Spencer's the one that came and got involved. He's the one that wanted to play Superman and he's the one that actually came to the rescue every time. It's not like Coop asked him to and she was just keeping it real. Then it showed Asher and Olivia arguing. They're going back and forth. They decide that they're gonna end up being just friends and Asher says that is if we can even get back to being friends again. And it just goes back and forth between Coop and Spencer and then Asher and Olivia. And like I said, Asher and Olivia agree to just be friends. And then Coop says that she's going to stay away from Spencer until Spencer figures out whose fault it really is, who he really wants to blame. And then Coop leaves and tells him to take care of himself. Then we see Spencer standing outside. And then Layla comes out there and she says, at least everybody knows where they stand now. I'll be in the car. Then we see Jordan driving Simone home. And at first the conversation is a little awkward, but then Jordan says how she's so beautiful, smart, and he just says all the things that she needed to hear. So they agree that, you know, they're gonna have conversation in the future and they're gonna work things out and they're gonna get to know each other even more. But Simone says that Shay and Jordan came into her life and did wonders for her. Then we see Coop laying in the bed and Patience is just comforting her. Then we see Spencer driving home and Layla's in the passenger and she's just looking really upset. So is Spencer. They don't say a single word to each other. And then when they get back to Spencer's house, uh, Spencer seems like he's gonna say something. But then Layla says, look, out of respect, I'm gonna ask you what happened in Vegas and tell me the truth. And then that's the end of the episode. I think this was a great episode. It was a really solid episode. My favorite one so far. Man, this one was good. But what did you guys think of this episode? Comment your thoughts down below. Let me know what you thought of episode six called Teenage Love. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What are your thoughts on this one? Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all all-American content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. If you guys want to donate to the channel, I got links below to the PayPal and Cash App accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.